Good morning, Cedar Grove. Good morning. Uh, I ain't going to tell you to touch your neighbor, but you can look at him. And say, neighbor. Neighbor. I have this blessed assurance. Have blessed assurance. Everything, Everything is going to be all right. Turn to Psalm 91. Turn to Psalm 91. And uh, church, we got to come to a place in our spiritual maturity uh, Amen. that we don't take everything so personal. Yes. And we have to get to a place as well that we don't. Uh, the Bible says, um, uh, let me get, get this scripture. This, this, this is not the scripture for, for uh, a sermon this morning, but I just want to read you uh, this script. I want us to read it. I, I, want, I want you to read it alone with me, Psalm 91. Uh, but the Bible says, Great peace have they which love thy law. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Don't you get that again? Great peace. It, I didn't just say peace. It says great peace. Yes. Have they which love thy law, yes. and nothing shall offend them. So we, we can't we can't we can't bash people. We can't put uh, our feelings on our shoulder. Amen. Um, Amen. And uh, I, I've never seen so many. Uh, Y'all didn't come up when I came up. So. I you know, there was, there was, <laughs> there was some things. <laughs> okay, okay. y'all, y'all that came up when I came up in church, understand that there was a lot of things said to you that you didn't agree with. And and if you came up uh, in a church where the preacher was real hard, everything was seen. You looked at somebody. You said it. Don't confess. Yeah, uh, you held somebody's hand too long. What you holding the hand for? Amen. You know, don't hug that sister too long. Y'all, y'all didn't have that kind of yeah. upbringing. Uh, and um, it, it, it is, it is a part of character building. Character building. You got to build some character and you got to build some, some stamina because there, there are some things that the enemy will bring to you Amen. that if you if you can't take uh, some of the stuff, because the church is the only place I know that, that people run from. They don't run to, they run from. And right now we're in the midst of a pandemic. People are panicking, they're going. Uh, go to the store, ain't nothing there. Yeah. Not even people consider them, like I said, if them folk, they're stacking up all this food. If they don't have no uh, deep freeze, that food is gonna go ruined because they can spend all that money on something that they uh, just have lost their mind on. But let's, let's read Psalm number 91. All right. All right. Let's read together. Start with the beginning. <laughs> All right. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is what? Refuge. And what? Fortress. And then when it says, My What? My God. In him, uh -huh. in him, not in them, yes. in him. him. Yes. All right, verse number two, he says, I will trust. In him, I will trust. Number three says what? Surely, 
What does surely mean? Uh, come on, y'all. What does surely mean? You can guarantee it. Surely he will deliver you from the of the fowlers and from the the perilous pestilence. This virus is a pestilence. But there's a surety in here he will surely deliver you from. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings shall you take refuge. He, his truth shall be your shield and buckler. All right, number five says what? You shall not be afraid. Stop. You shall not be afraid. Stop being scared. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night. Nor of the arrow that flies by day. Number six says what? Nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness. Nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness. You ain't never seen Corona virus 19. This is what the book says. Nor of the destruction that lies waste at noonday. But look at number seven. Read it. A thousand and all at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. All right, that's folk dying. You ain't dead. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. All right. Yes. 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 Only with your eyes mm. shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. That right. is that is where we are. It's wickedness. Yes. 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 We don't know where it comes. They, they say where it came from going in China and wherever it was and because they ain't uh, monkey brain and whatever else them so called delicacies were, but that's <laughs> wicked. Yeah, yeah. Because all of a sudden, if, and why are we panicking? We went through the swine flu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went through the Hong Kong flu. Yeah, yeah. Who? Ebola. SARS, Ebola. Yeah, yeah. He's gone. Yeah. Everything from 2000 to now has been something going on in the atmosphere. Yeah. And you still live through it, didn't you? Yeah. All right. Number nine. Because you have made who? The Lord. And what is he? My refuge. He's your refuge. Even the most high, your dwelling place. Yeah. Number ten. Here's another assurance. What does it say? No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. What did that say? Amen. Y'all mumble over it, but read it. Because you got to tell the devil this. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any. This is a plague, yeah, a pandemic. Yeah. It's a plague. Yeah. Talk, Reverend. Said it will not come near. I it ain't gonna get close. Yeah. 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 And what's gonna happen? For he shall give his what? Angels charge over him. Okay, so ain't no, if you don't believe it, ain't no sense you singing all day and all night, angels watching over me. <clears throat> It says right here, he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all. No, just a few. Just the ones you pick. In all of your ways, in their hands. Shall they bear you up? Yes. 
Unless you dash your foot get so unless you live in unbelief. That's dashing your foot against a stone. I'm in, I'm out. I'm in, I'm out. He's not. I, he may, he could, he would, he should. No. He said he will take care of you. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra or the ass. The young lion, the serpent, shall trample underfoot. That means you go put your foot on it. And keep Keep and Daddy Kendrick would say, you're going to keep on trucking. Keep me pushing. <laughs> Why? Number 14. Because All right, stop. And you say God is love, right? Yes. Okay, then this is what it says right here. Because he has set his love upon me, yeah. therefore I will deliver him. This is God talking back to us. This is a conversation. Yes. God said, because you said your love, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to deliver you. I will set him on high because he has known my name. That's a capital. That's God talking. Because you know his name. This is what I'm going to do for you. Because you know my name. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. Yeah. Yeah. All right. 15. Talk about us now. God is talking back. He's going to call upon me. And what God said he's going to do. I will answer him. And what I'm going to do what? I will be with him in trouble. Oh. Isn't there some trouble? Yeah. 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 Ain't there some trouble? Yeah. yeah. Trouble. But he said, if you call him, I'm going to answer. Yeah. I ain't going to sit up there and watch you go down. I'm going to answer. Yeah. Yeah. And do what? Deliver him and honor him. Yeah. Well, look at what God's going to do. I'm not just going to deliver you. I'm going I'm to let the world yeah. know how strong and powerful I am. Yeah. Well, everybody else is going crazy. We ought to be cool, calm, and collected. And I don't when I go to the restroom, I try not to be nosy, but I watch folk. I watch people. And I didn't wait till Corona came up. I've been watching it for a long time. And I watch, I watch when if they when they come in, uh, I ain't concerned with their business they're doing, but I want to see if you go stop by that faucet and wash your hands. Yeah, I seen folk. Use the restroom and just hit that cone and touch it up. And, 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 I, and I now understand it. You ever see the movie The Aviator with Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Where he played the role of Howard Hughes? I understand now. Yeah, Howard yeah. Hughes wouldn't touch doors, he wouldn't touch a whole lot of stuff. And one time he got trapped in the restroom because a man came in that door and, and, and touched it. And he stood there and waited for somebody else to open up and then he slid out. Because it's a nasty book. And I mean, and again, where did this stuff and how did it arrive? It, it, it came before the cough and the sneeze. Yeah. It was in the food. Yeah. So that means that somebody was in the kitchen nasty yeah. and serving food. Mm -hmm. So now, you know, uh, <laughs> it may come back to the good old days of good old home cooking. Yeah. Going to these restaurants now, I'm kind of like, you know, who's in the kitchen? We don't know who's in the kitchen. And they got it now, you see how they do? The kitchen is isolated yeah. from the yeah. public. So you don't know who's going in, who's going out. You don't know where they come from or what they're doing. You know, and I, I don't mean to be graphically nasty, but people are nasty. I see folks scratching. Yeah, all of it. And don't have no gloves on. No gloves. And then go back to start mixing, and I change my order. Uh, uh, excuse me, uh, excuse me. Uh, I did order this, but I think I want this. Okay, you. That's right. That's right. That's right. People that are working around people that are not clean 
And yes, you're doing your work and your civil duty and all that's wonderful and good. But don't come marching into the kitchen and you ain't got no gloves on. And I don't know where you've been and, and who you touched or who's touched you. And then you get mad because somebody tells you that uh, uh, you shouldn't be in the kitchen. You, you, got, you, got to, you got to look out for the wealth. If you don't care nothing about yourself, care for me. You know, it's just, it's just not it's not fair and it's not right for you to put and endanger other people's lives. And especially as contagious as this disease is. Yes, amen. You know, one of the things that's been um, uniquely good for us, because uh, I have I'm I'm searching to find out how other than the basketball players, I'm looking to see how many black folks and right. cup this because ain't, ain't ain't none of them been designated uh, in the hood. You know, the disease don't look like they're afraid to come in the hood. <laughs> you know, another thing is it ain't a whole lot of us doing a whole lot of traveling anyway. Flying to Japan and all over the Europe and, and all them, you know, and, and then you know, the cruise line is, is, is that's about the only thing we do, but I, you know, I, I, I want to go on a cruise, but now I'm going I'm to say like my, my brother, uh, Reverend Dietrich Lamar Lacey, when I asked him, I said, Doc, let's go get on the boat. He said, no, sir. I said, come on, Doc, we just, we're going to go to Cali. He said, no, sir. I said, well, what, what, what's wrong? He said, Doc, if, it's go, if the only boat I'm getting on is going to say the old ship of Zion, and I'm going to look and see if Jesus is the captain. So, you know, we, we, just, we just have to be wiser. We have to be more cautious now. But even in that, we still have a remedy. God is not going to allow any evil, no pestilence, no disease to come upon us. They, they, there's a whole lot of stuff that's going on they don't tell us about. Y'all better believe what I'm saying. The government haven't told a whole lot of stuff that's, that's going on. Another thing I always remember, I always remember the Bible is the truth and history repeats itself. So this ain't nothing new. If those of you that know anything about history understand what happened before. It was called the Blue Bonnet Plague. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And it also offers as a means of population control. Yeah. Don't think that don't think that the government right. it don't be surprised if you hear that it's behind some of this stuff. It's just like with the AIDS epidemic. Yeah. AIDS, you, you know how y'all got when you found out, heard about AIDS and all the stuff that you could, oh, if you kiss somebody, you can get it. Right. Somebody spit on you, you can get it. Mm -hmm. And if you touch somebody, get it. it is a transmission of bodily fluids, but yeah. they had wrong information. Exactly. And you got to be careful where you get the information from. Just like out of the airport right now, they I'm telling you how people, how wicked this world is. Yeah. They have people out there in the airport declaring that they have, uh, when they come off the plane, that they have uh, a virus, uh, 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 a medicine. Mm, yes. 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 Only to find out that it wasn't. It was they scamming people out of money. Amen. Amen. <laughs> People are already nervous, already scared, and now even on your websites and all the stuff, your social media, you're going to see stuff coming across telling you that they have a cure and they have all this stuff. Don't get caught up in that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Read it, understand it, but don't ingest it. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Yeah, yeah. Psalm 91. Read it. And read it again before you go to bed so you can sleep without tossing and turning, wondering what happened. Is it over here? Is it in my house? Let me look at uh, I, I don't know. And I'm still trying to figure out what is the what is the thing about buying all this tissue? <laughs> If 
you buy all this tissue now, what was you doing before this? Exactly. <laughs> yes, yes. It just, I mean, you know, just maybe it's me I'm crazy because I'm, I'm sitting up there watching. I was in my office and I'm standing up in the window and I look at this lady with a, a, a basket that you usually take your clothes to the laundromat and I've seen her go to the laundromat across she and her husband. I saw him walking behind holding some bags and I saw her in a cart that she usually has her clothes stacked up of toilet tissue and then at the top was paper towels and I'm like, well, paper towels I can understand but how much Toilet, toilet, toilet tissue that yeah. you have to have. Yeah, yeah. And people fighting in stores. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's what panic and fear does. When you're not rooted and grounded in yes. God's word, yes. you will be victims of yes. the same foolishness. Getting yes. in the stores, bumping cards. Now, see how, how, how silly it is. Yes. They just got through fighting Christmas. Yes. Yeah. Come on, you know they did. They got in the line and everybody was grabbing for the same thing because right. they had seen it the first time, went around, and then they came back around that size wasn't there. And they said, I had this first, and they started having a tug of war and wound up being a fight. I don't know why y'all think that I'm crazy. Y'all saw it, y'all been in the store. I hope it wasn't you that was involved in it. They wound up on the news fighting. Over clothes. Now they in the store grabbing meat. Yeah. And fighting. Yeah. Over tissue. Yeah. And over water. Yeah. Get you some water yeah. out of your sink. Yeah. Boil. Yeah. 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 Put a lemon in it. Sanitize. Sanitize, alkaline, drink it, and go to bed. Get up early in the morning. You won't get up early to go to church, but you get up there trying to go get some water. And the, and the earth is three fourths water. Turn on your faucet, put it in your pot, boil it, put a lemon in, drink it. Good night, go to bed. All right, yeah, good night, Irene. I see you in my dreams. All right, I'm through. I'm through for the day. All right, all right. I'm through for the day because I don't, it, you know, people are talking about, well, we, need, we need to be six feet apart and all. Yeah, make sure you six feet apart. Yeah, no, no, no contact. Yeah, no, no contact. So, and, and, and look at the domino effect. How, how does that, you can't go to the movies. Mm. Right. So all y'all that had aspirations to leave yeah, church and go to the movie, to the movie. No, you can't go because they closed. Yeah, uh, uh, all the, all, all the clubbers, I know y'all was sick last night, Because right? they in a club in Los Angeles and Hollywood over. You know, everybody, everybody, everybody sitting around there trying to figure out what we're going to do. God has a way of putting your little life on hold. And make you stop and acknowledge him. It's, it's amazing. Earthquake came, earthquakes come, mm. and people run to church. Right. A virus come, folks stay away from church. Yeah. I ain't yeah. understood that yet. Yeah. Yeah. If anywhere you should go to church is the house of the Lord. Yeah. Anytime you need any consolation, That's right. That's you need right. to come and get something from the yes. Lord. Yes, 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 yes. It ain't hit some of them really like this. All right, not you. All right. they, they, yeah. they ain't felt it. Yeah. But I say this in closing: Be not dismayed. Yes, Lord. Whatever be time, right. God will. Yes, He will. Take care of. Yes, yes. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise yeah. this morning. Yeah. 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 y'all don't sing as we uh, <laughs> prepare for our offering. We have in Jesus. Y'all go sing. All right, give us, give us a happy song. Don't give us nothing that make you. Look <laughs> we don't need a woe is me song this morning. We, we need something lift us up. We need one of them good old toe tappers. You know, somebody can get, ex get excited and happy about being one of God's children. It is no greater time than now 
to know that you know that you know that you know that not only are you his, but he is yours, and if God is on your side, he says, hey, not me. For the Lord on my side, where would I be? And what I like in the city, kept my enemies away. Made the sun shine through a cloudy day, and then rocked me in the cradle of his arms when he knew I had been battered and scorned. If it had not been, for the Lord on my side, tell me where would I be? Tell me where would I be? Now, I did have a message, but the Lord said, don't say it today. I was going to talk about Queen Esther, but uh, it's, it's good, it's good, it, it's done good, it's good right where we are. All right, with your offering lifted toward heaven, we thank you, Father, once again for each and every giver. Uh, we thank you for your hands of mercy and your protection in a time of trouble. You will hide us, and we thank you for hiding us. In your million, the blessings as we give today, not thinking of necessity, but thanking oh God for just who you are. Now we ask your blessings beyond each and every given. Press down, shaking together, running over, shall men give into your bosom. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God and amen. All right, turn the hand to the usher.
fall. Yeah, man. That's the good part of my life. But then on top of it, he tells us to be wise as serpents and to be harmless as doves. That means don't be stupid. That means that common sense talk right there. Don't be stupid. The problem is I hear they keep talking about and we just exercise. No common sense. Well, some folk ain't got none. Common sense is. Common sense ain't no sense for some folk because many folk don't have none. Them the ones that's what you just said. Why they buying all the toilet tin? Them that's them. Right. That's them. And all of them. Amen. Yeah. But God is our refuge. Yes, Amen. Yes, God is our refuge. And in Him, Amen. Will we trust? Amen. Amen. God love you today. God bless you. Amen. Let's put a little money in our hand real quick. Amen. We want to love on our overseer. Amen. I mean, that was a nice little transition. I yeah. think that was cool. Yeah. He was talking. I thought he was just talking. Yeah. He said, I'm done, Doc. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Josh, uh, I had to call on him and check on him yesterday. You know, it's my boy. And uh, when they had, this, had said uh, the foolish president of the NCAA, he didn't follow the leader of the NBA in the professional leagues. He, he had to get the money. He had to get the money out of it, you know, amen. And uh, he showed us, what he did was he showed us all what it's about. That's what he did, amen. But uh, Lord, we thank you for the gift and the giver. As we give these gifts to our servant, your servant, uh, our beloved our overseer, this candlestick that you placed in the midst of us, let it be a blessing to him. Let it be able to uh, aid him even at this crucial time and place of point in our lives. God, affecting his work and his job. But Lord, let it be a blessing. Let it be an uplifting. Let it be an aid to his needs and his cause, we pray. Bless each one that have to give, that have not. Bless them to give for the next important time. We love you. Thank you. In your name we pray. Amen. Just come on, bring your gifts in, guys. I say this. Uh, he showed us what it was all about. Amen. Because he didn't care what the NAA, uh, what the NBA, and all other leagues did. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Amen. He got every, he get every dime out of it. He can. Amen. But the whole point of view is, amen, that we have to make sure that our trust. Faith and trust in him. He's going to see us through. Amen. Amen. But I had to check on my brother and um, uh, we want to pray for him and we want to keep him lifted up. Amen. Uh, when, they, when, they cancel, when they cancel those games, amen, basketball and all those games, um, that, that directly, um, that directly um, impedes the the, the work perspective for our overseer, amen. That's what his job is. That's what he does. He works down there, amen, with the, the, the security detachment and whatnot down there for the main event and um, those um, um, programs down there at, the, at all of the venues here in LA, amen. And that's his job, his livelihood, amen. So we want to pray for him and want to pray that God will um, make ways for him, amen, for all of us, because it's going to fix some all of us. Been in, I've been in work the whole week out since last week. When we, uh, the week when I couldn't come, we couldn't come. I remember my last time I worked. Amen. I worked with the hospitals. Amen. I'm scared almost to go to work, though. Not because I don't trust God, but because that's where people find the weirdest places that the food at. You know, like the post office. They know that what you thought about a man who come to the post office with AK shooting up everybody. That ain't nothing to conceive and think. Amen. But you get people that frantic and they panic and they trip and flip, amen. I don't want to be up in there and they hold up everybody and they go to shooting everywhere. And all that. I don't want that, amen. You find somebody come in this trip and I want the virus, I want the virus, hey, ain't no virus, amen, amen, amen. I don't want to be there for that. Hey, somebody talk back to me, amen. I could put that, but then that's when you have to at all points take the Lord along with you. Everywhere you go. God bless you, you all. God keep you. Encourage me, safe, amen. Exercise mindful um, perspectives for your life, amen. Your children. Most of all, that's one concern. My concern is for the children, amen. Uh, because uh, they don't know. They don't know. They just want to play. You know, they want to be outside. You know, you're going to get some of them that's going to be hard headed to what mama said don't do. You're going to climb out a window, slide out a back door somewhere, amen. And that's when Satan loves to strike in times like that where he can get his shine, amen. But we want to cover our children with the blood, amen. And, and, and trust 
thank God we'll cover them and keep them. God bless you. We love you. Thank God to see everybody. I was telling the baby when I told her was here last night. I said, Doc, I didn't hear that we both laugh. And he said, well, they say uh, avoid large gatherings. And we both said at the same time, well, we good then. <laughs> we both started laughing, man. He said, Doc, they say, I said, Doc, they say avoid large gatherings. Yeah, they say. Boy, long gathered uh, over 200, 100. I, we both said right at the same time. It was like one, two, three, and more. said, we, well, we good, Doc. I said, Doc, I can, I'm looking forward to see everybody. <laughs> God bless you, amen. God bless you for making your way out on this morning. Here's the thing. Issues and the rain ain't good combinations, amen. No, no. We'll find any reason the real saint come church, but those that's that, 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 that straddle the fence one, yeah. he'll find any reason. Boy, you'll stay home. <laughs> God bless you, y'all. We love you, amen. We're praying for everyone. Keep each other in prayer, amen. That God will see us through, amen. Last word, benediction by our beloved brother, our overseer. Say amen. amen. Let us stand. I want to read one last scripture. That I want to make sure that you're well equipped. That's right. All right. And that's in. Psalm 27. The Lord is my light, my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, and whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me to eat at my flesh, my enemies and foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war rise against me. In this I will be confident. One thing, one thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek. And I might dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. Now my head should be lifted above my enemies all around me. Therefore I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. I will sing yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. And most of all the Lord cover you with his blood. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and present us faultless before his presence with exceeding great joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. And all of God's people said, Amen. For those of us that are meeting downstairs, very quickly, please avail yourself downstairs. There's some other information we want to share with you and keep you encouraged along with our Sunday Church New Life Ministry. All right, God bless you.